Hello, good Saturday morning everyone. This is Tina with Rhapsody and Ribbons. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is well and having a blessed Saturday so far. If this is the first time you're watching my video, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around. I would appreciate it. To my subscribers out there, hello. I love you all so much. I miss you. Um, <coughs> some of you I haven't heard from in a while, so um, you know, drop me a note, let me know that you're okay and everybody's okay. So I'm here today with a variety shopping haul. So <clears throat> it's not huge, but it was between the last three days that I've gone places. So let's just jump right in. So I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> and I bought him, isn't he just adorable? So um, he was... $29.99, but I used my 40% off coupon, so I think I got him for like $18, and which I'll put him on one of my Christmas trees. Um, and I got a roll of this mesh and another roll of orange because their mesh was 50% off. And then I bought some ribbons, and these were all 40% off. You know, Hobby Lobby doesn't have a big selection in fall ribbon. I was really disappointed this year. Um, plus, they are not going to be selling Halloween. So, nothing Halloween in the store. I don't understand that one, but okay. So, no Halloween. Um, oh, yeah. And here's some more. Look how cute. He is adorable. So you can either put him on a wreath, hang him on your Christmas tree. So I picked him up as well. I think he was $6.99 at 40% off. And then I picked up three of these pumpkin picks. And they were 40% off. Um, and then I got a white and a green okay so you know I just don't know how much to buy this year so right now I have one craft show usually I do between seven and ten so <clears throat> I hope more of them come up but we'll see so and then Hobby Lobby had these buy one get one free so they're $2.99 a piece and this one's Christmas morning I just love the smell of pine. And then the other one is gingerbread. So I got those two. Is that it from Hobby Lobby? I believe so. So then I stopped at Dollar General because <clears throat> I'm doing some Christmas trees and I needed um, 50 count lights. I am not digging out my Christmas stuff yet. I mean, I've got two walk-in closets that i got to dig stuff out and start putting stuff back. So, I just went ahead and bought them. They were $2.50 each. And then, of course, I always buy my slippers there. The, I wear these all the time. And they're $6. And they're so worth it. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. And this one I got at Joanne Fabrics. Okay. So, my Joanne's didn't have anything out for Halloween. I mean, they have Halloween out. They didn't have any Halloween ribbon. That's what I meant to say. So no ribbon there. And then we went, oh, and then I got this at Hobby Lobby. I needed another one of these picks. So I got that. I did this video yesterday and I deleted it. <laughs> So, I stopped at the Dollar Tree this morning, and they had this cute little sign, trick or treat, or which way to the treats. Now, guys, I'm sorry if you're seeing my stuff backwards, sideways, upside down. My camera does a mirrored effect, okay? It does not focus the way it's, I think it should. So what I found out is you need to buy editing software to correct that issue. Now, what I've looked into 
the editing software is pretty expensive. It's like $80 to $100 a month. So if any of my subscribers out there who have YouTube channels, if you can tell me what editing videos uh, you use or who you use, if it's cheaper, I would appreciate that so very much. So that's why you see things upside down. And I do apologize for that. And I just picked up two more witch hats. Um, they had a ton of them, you know, and I have a case of them, but I seem to go through those a lot. And then, I got these witch's legs. They're, you know, that chipboard or whatever. But I'm going to cut them off and just use the legs on a wreath. And what else? Oh, yeah. The sugar skull. <laughs> um, I'm really not into the sugar skulls. I, I, I don't know why, but I figured I could break each one of these apart and use them on a witch hat or whatever. So I picked that up. And then I picked up two creepy crawler. Um, like It's like a cape cloth, creepy cloth, they call it. So I'm going to try this on a witch hat. And then just two more of the black Chanel stems. And then I went to Rite Aid this morning. Excuse me. So I picked up some things there. I don't have everything, but um, I picked up my hairspray, which I use big and sexy products all the time. So... Um, pick that up and these are $19.95 there and I needed a new eyeliner I can't believe it guys this is ten dollars and thirty nine cents for an eyeliner come on and then I picked up I use this um, uh, this is L'Oreal and I use their volume mascara I've used that for years. I just never changed. And then they had these leggings out. They're super soft. And they were $7.99. So I picked them up. Because guys, I live in leggings and these tank tops. I probably own about 70 of these tank tops. And probably just as many in these stretchy pants. That's just me. Because, you know, I worked in banking for... 20 plus years and I was always dressed up in suits and heels and you know I've had every color shoes and purses to match my outfits and once I retired man oh man shoo no I don't like being dressed up anymore and then I just picked up two bags of dried apricots because I do like to snack on those um bought my husband two cans of cashews he has already ripped into them <laughs> so i think that's it for my shopping hauls of the different places that i've been to but um i did want to show you i did make this witch's hat that's on the dollar tree uh, witch frame okay so if you can see that it's pretty big it actually measures three feet from the tip of the hat um, to the bottom. It is three feet tall. So it's, those are pretty big. And then I started the yarn pumpkin wreath, okay? So I just started this. So when I get a little bit more of it done, like up to here, then I will show you how to do it and then finish decorating it. But it's it's a long, it takes a long time, you know. But all you're doing is weaving in, out, in, out, in, out until you establish, <clears throat> you know, a pattern. So, yeah. So hopefully I'll <clears throat> start working on that. And, um, you know, a couple times I had to rip it apart because I didn't do it right. And... I think that is it. I don't think I have anything else I didn't show you from the other day. 
now we're good. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this little shopping haul and um, <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. Are your kids going back to school? What's going on here? Our kids are going back to school. Um, I was at the doctor's the other day and so we just start talking about the COVID and oh, what I told him was, yes, I do believe that virus is out there and I do believe it's deadly, but I don't believe there are as many cases as they're reporting. I don't, I just, I, I, I just don't. Every day we hear, you know, 600 new cases in Michigan, 25 people die. I mean, yes, he said it's highly contagious. So one thing I did learn, so when you wear your mask out, it's important to cover your nose for the simple fact that this is where this virus comes up out of your lungs and through your nose. So you'll see people that have the mask down and their nose is out. Well, they're not helping you with that. They need to cover their nose because it's coming up from your lungs. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, so I always cover my nose. I don't like wearing the masks. They're hard to breathe, but you got to do what you got to do. And he did say, you know, they're just trying different things. They're trying not to put people on ventilators anymore. They're trying, um, like, um, what do they call that? Steroids. Um, you know, to help with the inflammation and stuff like that. So they're, they are trying to do a lot of different things not to put people on the ventilators. Um, so I don't know. But, um, you know, I'm praying if anybody out there has it or you know of somebody who has it, my prayers are with you. If you need a prayer, if you're sick, a loved one is sick and you need a prayer please let me know in the comments and i will put that out on my channel um what else oh so for my eye you guys know i had problems with this left eye um so after all the testing and i went to three different two different ophthalmologists and then i had to see my family doctor they have concluded that it's sinuses um so they said you have a lot of sinuses running behind your eyes, <clears throat> and um, but I get the pressure and it just feels like there's film over it. And I really thought I had cataract, and it's not that. So I'm thankful. Um, I'm thankful it wasn't anything else um, more serious because um, I had closed angle glaucoma in 1998, and I went totally blind in both eyes. So. <clears throat> I was scared. I went to the emergency room last week because I had eye pain, um, you know, all the symptoms of glaucoma. So they do did a CT scan of my eyes and my head and, you know, there's no tumors or nothing like that. So um, I'm blessed that way. So <clears throat> he's sending me now to ears, <laughs> eyes and nose doctor. It's like, oh, okay, and then I have to go and get glasses again. So um, my prescription is weak. I would love to do contacts. I, it's just like putting something in your eye. I, I, I don't know. It's just weird, but I might try it. I don't know because I just don't like wearing glasses. I wear them when I drive. Um, sometimes when I'm watching TV, I put them on. Um, you know, just depends, but, you know, so anyways... That's the update on my eyes. I know, to me, it looks droopy. I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but anyhow, that's it. And I hope you are spending time with people you love and people who love you back. I'm praying for all of you who are sick, anybody who is suffering with silent illnesses, invisible illnesses, MS, fibro, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, um, MS, you're all in my prayers. Cancer, you're all in my prayers. And again, I'll say, if you need a prayer, please tell me. Um, so I will work on that pumpkin and show you guys how to do it. And then I'm going to finish it and decorate it so you can see how I decorate my pumpkin. And so until I see you on the next DIY, everybody, ciao.